All right, here we go. We got the 62 Pontiac Grand Prix engine out, 389 four barrel. And tell you what, it has been a leaky son of a gun. I mean, look at all of the nasty buildup of grease, grime, everything just built up on here. So we took it out to took it out to 62, and um, look at it, man. It's just you can see I got a new fuel pump, but that's about the only thing. You know, I've been trying to scrape off some of the grease because I'm gonna pressure wash it. But I'd rather not get everywhere. So uh, I mean, the grease is gonna get everywhere, but I'm just trying to scrape off as much of the big chunks as possible. So you know, one thing I've noticed about this engine is other than it being leaky, it just smells so dirty. Part of the reason that is clearly is because literally just look at the transmission. One clean spot on the transmission, the rest of it's just atrocious. But the car had undercoating on it. So I think a lot of what we see on the bottom of the engine could potentially be undercoat I don't know, but I, I this is not undercoat. That's straight up just leaking valve cover gaskets there and who knows what else. So uh, engine's got good compression. When I first got the car, here it is behind us here. When I first got the car, uh, it only had about 90 PSI in each cylinder, but I didn't get it running. So after that, that was because it wasn't running. But when I got it running, I ran it around the block a few times, then realized, well, the whole thing's leaking oil, but the main problem was the transmission, which is dumping fluid. And this is called a, a Roto 10 or a Slim Jim. And behind this early torque converter, torus cover deal, it definitely was spewing fluid out. Cause I mean, it, it's nothing but caked on back there. Anyway, so that's one of the reasons why I took it out. And in these old engines like this, good compression, runs good. It doesn't smoke out the tailpipe. Um, I didn't do a leak down test, but other than that, it seems to be running good. It had decent power for the few times I went down the road and gave it a little power. The biggest thing is it's just a leaking, nasty, smelly mess. All of this oil heats up when you're driving down the road, so you just smell like burnt oil the whole time. I can't stand that. Absolutely pisses me off, kills me. So I went and pressure washed this. The, the, the plan of action here is to lightly hand sand a bunch of this down. It's like this panel here, just smooth it out nicely. Spray paint it, semi-gloss, Rust-Oleum. It'll come out looking really, really, really good while I'm getting this transmission rebuilt. Found a guy over in, in New Orleans, Metairie area that still work, works on Roto 10s, old Rolls, Rolls Royces and other specialty cars from the 50s and 60s that used this unique uh, hydromatic before a uh, turbo hydromatic, it's a Roto hydromatic. Um, but here's an interesting thing, so I bought all the seal kits. I'm gonna make this whole, I'm gonna seal this whole thing up, put a new rear main seal, new valve covers, uh, valve cover gaskets rather, I'm gonna seal it up. I'm gonna reseal the intake, the valley pan, the, um, I'm gonna take this water pump off to see if it's really corroded or not, the impeller. Uh, take the timing cover off, seal that up. Front main seal, it's clearly been been leaking as well. I mean, just everywhere, oil pan. I actually bought a complete new reproduction oil pan because I'm gonna throw on there. Just, uh, I'm sure that has so much sludge and nasty. I'm just gonna do that just to put a new one on. But this is the, the surprise of the day. And part of the reason why I think this engine has just been running rich or stinky or smelly or just not to its whole thing. So take a gander in there and what do you notice 
anything. Here, let me get a light. I know most of y'all know this already, but there is no thermostat in there. So they don't have a thermostat. It's gonna make this, it's gonna make this engine not run up to temperature. And whoever did is probably like, oh yeah, it'll run the coolest it can run. Well, that's not really good for the engine. It never gets up to operating temperature. And there was so much sludge in this engine under this valve cover, crazy. I, when I got it, I had to change the oil three or four times because it was clumpy coming out of the bottom of the, of the pan there. Uh, it wasn't discolored or anything, it was just clumpy. So I changed the oil, ran it a little bit, um, actually put a conditioner or something in there and ran it for five or five to ten minutes turn the car off drain the oil and it started everything started flowing and it got all that gook out but um, I think that's one of the reasons why this engine is hasn't ran that well that's definitely the reason for this for the buildup um, there could be a reason why they didn't put a thermostat back into it maybe they're trying to get it to run at 160 or 170 which is going to be impossible in an old Pontiac engine um, especially one oh, I don't have a radiator here here's the radiator especially one that doesn't, doesn't actually have a, a radiator shroud. It only has a fan right in front of the, right in front of the engine, in front of the radiator or back behind the radiator. Um, so you're not, you're not gonna get 160, 165. So I don't know, maybe that was their thought. This uh, water pump, it's pretty cool. It still had a stamp of 62 on it. I don't know if that's an original water pump or or what uh, anyway I'll document some of the progress of this this is kind of fun because you can make these engines look like this reseal it it's healthy it's got another 20 30 thousand miles on it which will be 10 years before I get to that uh, amount of mileage on this thing another 10 15 yeah 15 thousand miles on this thing we can put on it clean it up put it back in the car um, we're going all factory with this. So it's going to look good. We're going to have fun. We're going to paint all these parts up, etc. All right, man. Well, hope you all like the 62. 17-inch spokes on it. The 72s with the Vogues. Once this is painted up, I'm telling you, it's going to look good. Stay tuned.